Steve, clean sheet and a thoroughly satisfying result. Um, how did you see it? Yeah, it was um, it was a fantastic result, really, if we're, if we're honest. Um, we played well. We uh, defended resolutely, and um, I think the lads in front of the back four were superb tonight. And um, back to weather the storm a bit first half at, at, at times, but um, you know I thought we came out on top second half and got the early goal and uh, went on went from strength to strength then. Yeah, Burton has scored in every game up till tonight, and I really only remember Jack making one serious save at the far post a good block didn't he but you kept those dangerous front men fairly quiet yeah we did we um, we knew that we knew there were a handful uh, we've played against them before you know Justin and Calvin um, they are a handful and they're, they're decent and especially when they brought Billy Key on at the end he, he's a bit of a live wire as well so yeah I mean like you said he had, he had the chance first off and maybe it's a different game if that goes in but them's the breaks you know Jack's made the, the outstanding point blank save so <clears throat> you know it didn't affect us it, in any way, shape, or form, and we went and carried on playing the way we were playing, and uh, I think that that came through in the end. Yeah, you, you're obviously on a roll, four wins in a row. Um, you did have a good start to the season last year, but it wasn't anything like this, was it? it? Wasn't any consistent run like this? No, yeah, I think last season we were picking up results, you know, and um, not really, not really playing that well, but just getting the results, you know. But this season, I think you can see that there's a lot more fluidity to the team. We're playing a lot better football and uh, looking more solid. It's it's been great to have a uh, Alan come in yeah. next to me, you know, a bit of experience as well. Nine times out of ten, he makes the right decisions, you know, so it's great to have him in there. And uh, it just gives us that platform, you know, to work on. And, um, yeah, we, we play well tonight, we won't get carried away, you know, it's a few results. But um, we've got to, as long as we consistently perform like that throughout the season, then uh, hopefully it'll be a decent season. Yeah, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but as a defensive partnership, do you reckon that's one of your best performances since coming to Cheltenham? I think so, yeah. I mean, the the situation before the game, we knew if we win, you know, we'd go into the top three possibly if we could win by two clear goals. So, yeah, there was pressure on us, but and we knew they were a handful. So, yeah, we were up for it like we are every game, and uh, it's one of those games where everything we added and blocked seemed to uh, go in our, our favour. So, yeah, it, I mean, it was it was a great performance, and hopefully we can um, we'll build on that and. Uh, uh, it's looking good at the moment, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep working hard and hopefully it'll continue. Yeah, it must be nice to get the points in the bag on Friday night and you can sit back and enjoy your weekend now. Yeah, it's nice to have the Friday night games. Uh, I don't know why they don't have more, you know. But uh, yeah, it's good, especially coming away to Burton. They've been flying as well, not lost at home, so maybe they were due one. But um, yeah, it's great. Get the result out of the way, have a nice look at the table. Probably change over the weekend, but we'll be in a decent position in the mix, ready for uh, the next Friday night game next week. Yeah, so you're all for Friday night games, are you? After tonight, I'll say yeah, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously I like my football on a Saturday, but um, Friday night games now and again, I mean, I'm sure Burton get the fans in as well and, and teams will get the fans in on a Friday night, but you know, it's just the fixtures are dealt and we, we turn up and play, you know, and we've played well tonight and I'm very pleased. Yeah, well, I haven't spoken to you since after the Bristol Rovers game when uh, you got a great reception that day, didn't you? And that, that result, do you think that was... A has made a big difference to the belief and the confidence to, to, to go there and win so convincingly. I think so. Yeah, I mean, it, it's all it's what this game's about, you know, confidence, belief, and uh, believing in your own ability. And I think the lads, at the moment, are realising that. I mean, you've got Marlon, Luke, and Penner in the midfield, who, like the gaffer said, probably the best three midfielders in the league. And, and I, I'll go with that comment. Playing very well together at the moment and creating a lot of chances for us and overrunning midfield midfields at times, you know. So. Um, yeah, I think the belief's there, and uh, we're, we're confident at the moment. So, yeah, we know we're going to go through tough patches, and we know we're going to uh, be struggling at some points and, and lose some games, obviously. But um, you know, it's about believing what you can do and getting back to it when you do have them downsides. You've got a fellow le fellow left footer in the back four at the moment, Luke Garbert. He's come in, he's set up goals in both of his games, and he, he looks like he's slotted in and no trouble at all. Yeah, I think um, I think anyone who's watched Luke over the past couple of games will see that he's a fantastic. Player, he's a, he's a great prospect. He's got a lot of potential. You know, he's only young. He's at, he's at a good club. You know, and we're lucky to have him at the moment. So uh, hopefully he'll get experience and it will go on. Hopefully I can help him along the way as well. You know, so um, yeah, it's good for him and it's, it's obviously good for us. So um, long way that continue. Yep. Just leave off.